let's talk about the first step from roll casting into spade casting. Ironically, it's a non-change of direction cast. They're actually called splash and go or airborne casts. The first cast we're gonna learn in the splash and go series of casts is called the switch cast. It's a non-change of direction cast. And all it is really is a sped up roll cast. I'm gonna show you one now. Lift, unstick the line, jump the line into position and make the roll cast. Show you again. Lift, unstick the line, jump the line into position and make the roll cast. You'll see that the anchor is landing a rod length away and it's pointing directly downstream. We're not making a change of direction. Lift, place the anchor off our casting shoulder a rod length away and make the forward delivery. It's as simple as that. So it's an airborne roll cast. But let's talk about making it airborne. When do we lift and when do we go into what we call the swing? This is the lift. Okay, all we're gonna do is lift to approximately waist height or chest height or chin height. Unstick as much line as we can, but at some point, as we know, that contact point's gonna run towards me. So we need to lift the line off the water before that happens. If we wait too long, now, we've gone too late, we've got line stick and it doesn't work. If we go too soon, there's too much line stuck on the water and when it releases, it fires off stream. We need to unpeel that sticker just before it runs towards us, go into the swing. The way to place your anchor exactly where you want it is to look there. Look there. I cannot emphasize that enough. It's very hard to place your anchor. Sometimes you go too short and the cast has no energy. Sometimes you go too far. The way to get your anchor to land just there is to look directly at it. Imagine your eyes are like a GPS coordinate. So we're gonna unstick that sticker to about waist height, look and place the anchor. Look and place the anchor. Look and place the anchor. Every single time, a rod length away, pointing downstream. We're looking for that anchor to come in on what we call an incline sweep. Okay, very, very important. If we lift and then dip, can you see that shape in the line? It's called a bloody L. If we lift too high and dip, there's that bloody L shape again. And when we go forward, you see that big splash? That's energy robbing tension. We want the anchor to land straight, pointing down there. Lift to about waist height, look, a nice clean anchor. Did you see that? If we lift, in this case, it's about to chin height. When I sweep, I gently incline the rod tip. Gently, gentle incline. A slight rising sweep like that. And what that does is it means it's constantly pulling that leader in the same way that a plane, a plane doesn't land nose first, does it? It lands with its wheels first and gently touches down. I want you to think of that. Now, the drift in the overhead cast is slightly different to drift in a switch cast. It's not so much as a, a back and up all the way back here. It's a slight sort of half moon shape like this. And what it does is it just keeps that D-loop off the water. We're keeping the D-loop off the water and preparing ourselves to get into the forward delivery position. We talked about the shelf as well in an earlier tutorial. I'm wading up to knee depth here, so I've transposed the shelf to up here. Let's put it all together. The lift, the sweep, circle up, forward delivery. That's the switch cast. It's the fundamental cast for all airborne anchor casts.